everyone and welcome to the Lathrom channel. In our videos we cover filming tips, tricks and techniques, equipment and product reviews and many other things that will help you in the world of filmmaking and photography. Check out our videos and don't forget to subscribe. What's up everybody, Matt from Lathrom and today we are going to be rocking out a little bit of an aerial assault on your viewing pleasure. Specifically, the DJI Phantom 3 Standard Edition with the 2.7K camera. Now, many of you may know me, I am a huge nerd when it comes to certain things like this, and hopefully this is no exception. But enough of me standing in front of you BSing and running my mouth, we're actually going to just say screw it and get into some aerial photography and you don't have to look at my ugly mug anymore. Now, first off, I want to tell you that all the video here that you're looking at has not been color corrected in any way, shape, or form. We haven't modified anything. So, I mean, what you're getting from the GoPro and what you're getting from the DJI Phantom, which you should be able to differentiate between the two, is exactly what you get out of the camera. There has not been any color correction whatsoever. Now, one of the things that I will say that if you're looking at footage of the woods, that was shot in 2.7K and then downsampled to 720, mainly because my ISP sucks and I really don't feel like waiting around for 2.7K to upload. I know I should do it anyway, but I mean, really, even though I have a 50 down and 5 up, which is the highest package I can get at the moment without going commercial, and uh, I just, yeah, no, it's not good. But anyhow, DJI makes one of the most friendly um, I want to say aerial platforms uh, all of you out there call them drones I understand I don't agree but they make one of the most user friendly drones uh, on the market now I've seen quite a few different things out there I mean they have everything from uh, quadcopters up to hexcopters and I believe DJI, DJI also makes an octocopter if you go outside that scope you can also find decacopters and, and things like that where you're getting up to 10 different blades and it's just havoc but it is super easy to control this particular quadcopter I haven't went above that so I can't tell you what their hexacopters and octocopters act like there are a couple things that I don't really like and one of those is uh, the whole jump between uh, more of a beginner and an advanced uh, flight system now for those of you who are wondering what I'm talking about we actually tried, in this video clip right here, flying underneath this awning. During that flight, I lost GPS lock on the first round, which basically confused the hell out of the hexacopter, or er, the quadcopter, and required me to basically manhandle it instead of get more of what I wanted. Now, there is a good possibility that if we had it set up on like an auto flight uh, through waypoints or something like that, it would have probably handled a little bit better. But, all in all, I, if you would have seen the actual video footage of me trying to keep control of the quadcopter, it would have probably been rather amusing. But aside from that, I mean, there are some t you know, little tweaks that I don't agree with. I don't really like the idea that, you know, I only have a, a little bit of control over the camera unless I upgrade to, you know, a much more expensive quadcopter. It is what it is. I really don't care at the same time. Uh, I do really wish that I had two controls, but again, you know, the dual control, one for video, one for actual control, is a much more expensive uh, quadcopter. And for something around $800, I mean, it's definitely not bad. Also, for those of you who are in the more, uh, you know, videography or the cinematography aspect, it is a hell of a lot cheaper than going out and renting Oh, I don't know, a sky lift or a uh, scissor lift, a rather large jib or boom, just to get some of the shots that you wanted to. And, and again, depending on what your budget was and what effect you wanted or what you wanted to see in your film, a lot of times you were basically hiring a helicopter, a pilot, and paying for fuel, which was uber expensive. But now for 800 bucks, I mean, you can basically take care of all that and then some and still have a field day, at least for about 25 minutes a go or 25 minutes per battery. 
Now, I think I have it figured out that if you have the ability to charge on location uh, about five or six batteries at, unfortunately, a hundred and, I believe, fifty dollars a battery, uh, you can essentially stay up indefinitely. Basically, you know, land long enough to charge it or start charging another battery, swap batteries out, and go back up. Now, if you're looking into more of a cinematography aspect or you're trying to do something else, such as, you know, monitor land or what have you, that may be the best route to go. Because, after all, I mean, you're going to need more than one battery, obviously, because, well, batteries are essential for flight, obviously. And there is one issue uh, that I did find. With the charger that comes with the package, you're looking at about an hour and a half of charge time in between battery usage. So, even with the nice, wonderful, upgraded uh, battery charger, you're still looking at about an hour. But that's about all the blabbing I have. Well, I mean, I could go on in lieu of this subject for hours, but I'm going to try and keep this short. I want to try and keep it under 10 minutes. I wanted to try and keep it under around like four or five minutes, and that just didn't happen. Uh, there are a couple things I'm going to leave you with. If you think about or you end up buying a, you know, a quadcopter or a hexcopter, octocopter, decacopter, you know, whatever you find that tickles your fancy, do not be a douchebag with it. This is the one thing that I absolutely hate, and they, they're giving people like us bad names. You know, quit being a douche. You know, quit trying to, you know, fly your little uh, quadcopter down a nude beach just to spy on girls. Get a life. Quit harassing people, quit, you know, trying to peek in your neighbor's freaking, you know, daughter's bedroom window or what have you. Seriously. Yes, it is a toy. Yes, we have fun with stuff like this. But at least be responsible with it. Quit being a freaking kid and, you know, just fly it the way it was intended. Do not piss off the FAA. You know, do not piss off the FCC for that matter because either way, you know, it's not going to look good. And if you're one of those people that thinks that drones are the, you know, the next coming of the devil or what have you, I urge you to grow up as well. Not everybody abuses it, and you know, quite frankly, I don't want to hear about the whole, oh, well, you know, now you can attach a camera to it, or it comes with a camera and you can spy on people. Well, be quite honest with you, people have been doing that with RC helicopters for quite a while now. If you want to go through and essentially ban uh, quadricopters and stuff like that because they have the ability to spy on other people well it looks like we're going to have to ban you know telescopes telephoto lenses binoculars monoculars spotting scopes any kind of optic where that allows me to see more than you know 15 feet away just seriously kind of be responsible it is what it is and yeah if somebody's abusing that somebody's taking you know what have you you know, they're taking pictures of your daughter, or your son, or what have you. Just call the cops. Don't take it into your own hands. Be responsible about it. That's the only thing I can ask. But for right now, that's I'm just going to stop because it's going to get me into trouble. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. I will get back to them as soon as I possibly can, which I try to keep up on that stuff pretty well. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. Pass it around. Bring in some new subscribers, and yeah, by the way, do not forget to subscribe. My name is Matt, I am out of here for today, and I will catch you guys next time.